Hey everyone, welcome back to another data visualization critique. This is John Schwabish from policyviz.com. This critique of this visualization tweeted out by Data with Dev just a few days ago. Uh, I haven't found the original visualization. I think it's a Tableau visualization, not entirely sure. It's showing uh, per capita alcohol consumption around the world. So Dev's question here is, are there any best practices around using a sequential color palette. So usually the typical way we do this is we use lighter colors correspond to lower numbers and darker colors correspond to higher numbers. And you can see here in this visualization, I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. In this visualization, take a look at the top uh, right here or so of the graph in the legend. We have zero on the left of that little legend in the darkest blue color. And then the higher numbers, 10.5 to 13, in the white color. And so that's a little uh, counterintuitive, I think, because of the way we generally use and see these sequential color palettes used in data visualization. And so Lisa Charlotte Muth from Data Wrapper replied to Dev's tweet, which I thought was great, and uh, referenced this paper by Karen Schloss and, and co-authors from 2015. And you can see the highlighted sentence here. I'll just read it aloud. Therefore, participants have a strong dark is more bias which is diluted but not reversed when dark colors are low contrast. So there appears to be, I think, what sort of what was mentioned in the first tweet here is that it's a bit counterintuitive to flip that around because it's just that, that approach, that general typical way to use these sequential color palettes. But for me, what's more problematic about this visualization in this whole thing, very nice map, good projection, good uh, use of icons and arrows and annotation, but the legend bothers me for a different reason uh, other than the color. Notice that it doesn't, I don't know what's going on with the numbers here. Like it doesn't quite tick up in the right way here. So here's that legend. I blew it up. Obviously it's, it's a little, uh, um, a little pixelated here, but I put numbers. Now I don't exactly know. I still can't tell where the breaks are supposed to be. So I put a break just to the right of each little box. So we've got, I'm going to say zeros in that first left vertical bar I drew there. One, two, three, four, five. Now five is missing. Eight is missing. Somehow for some reason, 10.5 is listed there. So let me fill in some of the other numbers here. I even left out the eight. I didn't even put the eight in here. You can see like, so I don't know what's going on here. And then if we actually layer this on, let's start at that far left notch, that far left orange line, and that to the far right orange line at 13, and then just increment them, you can see that we don't have a uniform distribution of numbers. They're not ticking up. Now, maybe this is based on a different distribution of numbers, some distribution I don't know, I'm not aware of, but I don't think so because it just looks kind of off. It looks just kind of wrong. And even if it was a different distribution, I'm not sure, you, sure why you would use it for liters of alcohol, of alcohol consumption, it seemed like just be a regular uh, number, sequential number going from zero up to 13. So there's a couple issues with this visualization, primarily in the legend. I think the, the, the typical way that we use these sequential color palettes is just the way that people see this. Doesn't mean it's necessarily right from a scientific eye brain uh, facilitation process, although that research from Karen Schloss and co-authors showed that, you know, that appears to be how we see it, but that could just be because we're used to seeing it that way. So, okay, but if people are used to seeing it that way, then maybe we should just use it that way. So light to dark. And then also, um, this, this, uh, the numbers here should, should be equidistant. And if they're not, they're not equidistant. They're using some other distribution to show the data. They should note that. It should be noted somewhere in the visualization. And if we go um, back to the original visualization, you know, you can see that the lines here are going down. So maybe there is a note at the very bottom of this visualization. Again, I couldn't find the original, but I think that's in the wrong spot anyways, because if I'm using some sort of different, you know, a Gaussian distribution or some other kind of distribution to show a log normal distribution or something to show these numbers, I want to put that right at the legend. I'm going to note that right at the top. I'm going to tell people why it's missing a five. It's missing an eight. I'm going to 10.5. Uh, maybe it's a mean, maybe it's a median, maybe there's some reason, but I'm going to make that clear to the reader. So some things to improve here, not the worst visualization in the world, but some, some things to improve, which is fine. That's why we have these critiques. That's why we try to improve. Uh, hopefully you've learned a little bit from this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to check out some of the other tutorials on the site. This is John Schwabish from policyviz.com. Thanks so much for watching.